Hey everyone. Welcome to Top Tech News. This is your news channel for getting updated with the latest tech news headlines and their impact on business and our lives. To read the full news article for any of the news that we cover, simply click on its link given below in the description. To stay updated, show us some love and hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. This way you would be informed whenever we upload a new video. Hi, my name is D and I am your host for today. Today's top headlines are Apple starts testing folding iPhones for possible 2022 release. Samsung Galaxy M42 to sport a 6000 mAh battery. Samsung Galaxy A42 5G model starts selling in Taiwan. Huawei announces sale of Honor smartphone business. Tesla surges on green light to join S&P 500. Let's get started. Apple starts testing folding iPhones for possible 2022 release. With Samsung having a head start with its Galaxy Fold smartphones, it was always believed that Apple would get into it as well sooner than later. Apple snagged a few folding device patents in the recent past, but patents alone don't signify that a product will come as a result. A new report from Economic Daily however claims that Apple is being sent samples of folding phones from its Chinese suppliers including Foxconn and New Nico. Apple is reportedly evaluating whether to use OLED or micro displays for a folding device. The decision will drastically change the folding device's manufacturing processes as Microld is a newly emerging display technology offering higher brightness, saturation, and power efficiency. Until then Apple is said to be entering the testing phase of devices with folding screens, specifically the screens and hinges. Samsung is reportedly providing the display according to the supply chain, and hinges will come mostly from new Nico and will be assembled by Foxconn. The hinges will reportedly be tested for more than 100,000 actuations and Nippon Nippon, the same company that Apple has worked closely with to produce hinges for MacBooks, will be manufacturing these hinges for a folding iPhone. Apple is reportedly aiming at a September 2022 launch for a new folding iPhone but then again, this is still only speculation. It's too early to narrow down the kind of form factor that Apple will go with even though Apple's patents depict a clamshell flip phone form factor with the likes of the Galaxy Z Flip or the new Moto Razr phone. Another patent has two folds in the screen that, when folded, reduces the device to impact size. Meanwhile, another patent showed a device with two individual displays, so it would be interesting to see the final form factor that Apple goes for. Samsung Galaxy M42 to sport a 6000 mAh battery. Samsung's Galaxy M lineup is famous for its huge batteries, most of the current devices have a 6000 mAh power cell, and the Galaxy M51 goes even further with 7000 mAh according to multiple listings, a new phone is going to join the family, again with a mighty battery. The device is likely to be called Galaxy M42, and it appeared on 3C with 6000 mAh capacity. The device was also certified at DECRA, an independent firm for certifying pretty much everything, as well as at BIS, the Bureau of Indian Standards. All those certifications suggest that the M4X series is coming back. Samsung Galaxy A42 5G model starts selling in Taiwan. The Samsung Galaxy A42 5G made its formal debut in Taiwan last month with 6GB RAM. Now the company has launched an 8GB RAM model in the country, which is priced at 13,990 Taiwan dollars, around 490 dollars or 415 euros, and has three color options, black, white, and gray. The Galaxy A42 5G is powered by the Snapdragon 750G Soak and runs Android 10 out of the box. Both the 6GB and 8GB RAM variants come with 128GB storage, but you also get a microSD card slot for storage expansion up to 1TB. The A42 5G sports a 6.6 inches HD Plus Super AMOLED screen with a fingerprint reader embedded for biometric authentication. The smartphone comes with a 20MP selfie camera, and there are four more on the back, 48MP primary, 8MP ultrawide, 5MP macro, and 5MP depth sensor. Fueling the entire package is a 5000 mAh battery that draws power through a USB-C port at up to 15 watts. Huawei announces sale of Honor smartphone business. Following reports of Honor's imminent sale, parent company Huawei has made the news official. With US restrictions severely limiting Huawei's telecom consumer and commercial businesses, the company had to resort to selling off its secondary smartphone brand Honor known as Glory before translating. Honor's new owner is Shenzhen Nixon New Information Technology Company, Limited, and it has signed an agreement with Huawei Investment Holdings Company, Limited, to fully acquire the Honor smartphone business. 
the agreement states that the acquisition will protect the interests of consumers, channels, flyers, partners, and employees. Changes in ownership should not affect the direction of Honor's development, and Honor Senior Management will remain on board. The purchasing company was established by a consortium, a group of investing partners and businesses, of more than 30 agents and distributors. New Honor will oversee resources, branding, production and distribution, services, operations, and executive decisions. Huawei will no longer hold any share in Honor, nor will it be a part of the company's executive board any longer. Under the Trump administration, the U.S. accused the telecom company of posing a threat to national security and banned American companies from doing business with Huawei. This hindered both Huawei and Honor from using any American components. Qualcomm would not be allowed to sell chipsets to Huawei, even though this has recently changed, while Google revoked both Huawei and Honor's license to use Google's suite of apps. This severely hindered Huawei and Honor sales in Western markets in recent years. Tesla surges on green light to join S&P 500. Tesla, TSLA, is officially going to join the S&P 500 and it is sending the stock price on a wild ride in after our trading. After lining up profits in now five quarters in a row and seeing its valuation surge to become one of the world's most valuable company, Tesla was expected to join the S&P 500 earlier this year. The S&P 500, or simply the S&P is a stock market index that measures the stock performance of 500 large companies listed on stock exchanges in the United States. It is basically a representation of the U.S. stock market, and it is often updated to add growing companies in order to better represent the market. The INISA did a reshuffle in September, but Tesla was surprisingly not included. Now the S&P has announced that Tesla will be included in the next reshuffle coming in December. The announcement sent Tesla's stock, TSLA, on a wild ride in after-hour trading. It went up by as much as 12%, adding over $40 billion in market capitalization to the automaker. It's not unusual for a company's stock price to increase after being included in the S&P 500 since funds tracking the index generally buy into it. Well, that's about it for today. Hope you found it helpful. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. And do show us some love by clicking on the thumbs up button. Have a wonderful day everyone and we will be back again soon.